Welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Monday, the 15th of July. This week on the Battle Drill Daily Devotional Podcast, we discover how humility, sacrifice, and divine wisdom redefine true strength and victory in Jesus Christ. Each day we share hope and encouragement as we read and study the Bible together. Today's Bible passage is Romans chapter 5 and verses 6 to 11. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his Son while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his Son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. We don't need to have attended an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting to know how they start. They've been depicted in various films and television programs over the years to know that someone begins by saying, My name is X and I am an alcoholic. That introduction is a way of equalising all the attendees in the meeting. The same could be said for those church services that include prayers of confession that are said together by the congregation. Christian writer Rachel Held Evans once wrote, that these prayers remind us that we all move through the world in the same state, broken and beloved, and that we're all in need of healing and grace. They embolden us to confess to one another not only our sins, but also our fears, our doubts, our questions, our injuries and our pain. They give us permission to start telling one another the truth and to believe that this strange way of living is the only way to set one another free. Typically, in Salvation Army meetings, we don't use such prayers of confession. I wonder what our equivalent would be. Perhaps the mercy seat, where all sinners are equal before God. But in many places, sadly, the mercy seat seems to have fallen out of fashion. Perhaps that's not surprising, After all, we are often tempted to believe the church is for the healthy, however many times Jesus told us it was for the sick. Avoiding prayers of confession and staying away from the mercy seat stems from the same impulse that makes us want to lose a few pounds before we join a gym, or trying to get rid of the flu before going to see the doctor. But Paul reminds us of the scandalous love of God. It is scandalous because it defies our expectations and norms. Christ chose to die for us whilst we were still sinners. This act of unconditional love is hard to grasp by human standards because it's not based on our own worthiness or actions. Instead, it is purely a demonstration of God's infinite and boundless love. When we understand this, we can see that God's love isn't transactional. It's a love freely given. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, we are drawn into a relationship with God, bridging the gap created by our sin. 
take a moment just now to meditate on the depth of God's love for you. Let this truth sink into your heart and mind. Then, find ways to share this scandalous love with others, whether through acts of kindness, encouraging words, or giving of your time and resources. And so today's reflection question to help you go deeper with this is, how can you reflect God's unconditional love in your daily interactions with those around you? Join me tomorrow for another Battle Drill Daily Devotional as we continue to focus on the paradox of the cross. If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill Devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.